I want to take a moment to address something you've been reading a lot about, the illegal immigration crisis on our southern border. When there's a crisis on the border, this is one of the first places to feel it. But for many in El Paso these days, life feels much the same. So in my opinion, I wouldn't say there is an immigration crisis. So me living here in, in the border and me being an immigrant myself, uh, I haven't seen much of a difference now, to be honest. And to say that it's a crisis, I'd say they are incorrect because there's always people coming in and coming out. So it's just dependent on how you want to see it. Crisis or not, Trump's policies are having an effect on this border community, where the ebb and flow of people has always been a feature of life and a vital part of the economy. I work here in downtown El Paso. We're like two blocks, three blocks from the border. A lot of our clients come from Juarez, and we've seen a lot of decrease in sales. Like, a lot of people have, have stopped coming. I have friends over there, and they tell me that they don't want to come anymore. They're afraid in the border. They might get their visas taken away, or they just don't want to come over here and, like, get in trouble just for being an immigrant or just for being Mexican. Siete, I mean, it has impacted in our business in a big way. I'm not with or against Trump. I'm just saying there's other ways to handle the crisis and not to add to the crisis. Gracias. Buen día. I cross back and forth pretty much every day. Once I started uh, college, I started working as well. So I found like income to buy a house in Juarez and at the same time study here and work so I could save up money for my college tuition. They kind of question me a lot and they kind of give me a hard time. Like when I'm crossing over, they're like, oh, what are you doing over here? To justify the new zero-tolerance border policy, administration officials point to an increase in the number of migrants apprehended this year, many of them asylum seekers from Central America. We are not going to let this country be overwhelmed. People are not going to caravan or otherwise stampede our border. But overall migration to the southern border has been on the decline for decades, and apprehensions remain near record lows. We don't have an immigration crisis. What we have in this instance, it's a humanitarian crisis. Fewer people are trying to cross the border. But what does happen is every now and then there's a surge. The federal agencies that process asylees, people who are fleeing violence and poverty and, and seeking solace in the arms of the United States, th those agencies are not equipped to deal with those surges. But even a surge is still, the numbers are still incredibly low. Some politicians in El Paso say Trump is still trying to fulfill an elusive campaign promise. We believe that a strong nation must have strong borders. Trump uses this to create fear so that he can get the public approval for his wall. We've seen Democrats and other people say, oh, let's just give the president his wall. It doesn't end at a wall. It never has. And that goalpost continues to move. And over time, border communities like mine continue to, to, to see a little bit of our humanity continue to be eroded. And you see immigrants' humanity continue to be eroded. And we see the growing criminalization of migration.